what's going on guys it's Ali welcome to skill addiction it's been a long time I haven't done any videos because I was traveling and I wasn't stable and staying in my office uh, but I've been working on this project and it's been a long time I did some work on it but still not done yet so I just wanted to figure out and share it with you guys uh, maybe I will get some more ideas and inspiration from you but here we have uh, this uh, fully 3D printed 8 scale chassis it will be uh, Toyota Supra MK4 and it's not gonna be electrical it will have a two cylinder engine over here and the tank will be at the back but the most important is it will have a manual transmission clutch and brake everything I already worked on the chassis here is the chassis the other important thing about this specific design is uh, each coilover will be uh, controlled by a servo so this car's height will be changed depending on the speed whatever you want and the chassis will be uh, 3d printed in two parts uh, the rear part and the front part I'm gonna use my Creality CR10 Max for 3D printing these parts because this is gonna be a big car uh, I'm thinking about it will be about 70 centimeter long so I will print this chassis in two parts I don't want any other parts uh, because uh, if it's too many parts it will be flexible but if I manage to print it in two parts it will be a solid part and I already ordered all these parts so it's gonna be in the mail uh, in a few days and whenever I got each part I will show you guys but uh, I just wanted to show you another thing each part uh, like the fender and the bumper all these panels will be bolted on the chassis so if there's any damage on the car you can just swap the panel and 3d print another one and the rim will be mounted just like a real car uh, there will be five lug nuts and rotor brake caliper everything just like real car uh, here's the car so far I did all that much and I'm gonna leave you guys with this part I'm gonna be working on the front fender so you guys can see how I do the designing and modifying when I do a 3D printed part. Let me know what you guys think about the project and if you have any suggestion, let me know in the comment section below what do you think I should add on this car.